So you're trying to perform maintenance on your hot water heater by flushing it, but nothing is coming out the drain hose? What's going on? Let me show you. Let's get after it. If you'd like to see a more detailed video on how to handle smelly water, tank drainage, and anode replacement, click the link at the upper right of this screen. This video assumes you have cut power to your heater, located and turned off your cold water supply, and attached a hose suitable for hot water use, then turned on the tank spigot. There are two reasons that immediately come to mind as to why there is no water flow. The water in the tank may be vacuum locked, just like in this tube. Removing my finger allows air in and breaks the vacuum. Turning on a hot water faucet does the same thing. If no water appears now, then most likely the tank drain spigot is clogged from the inside with nasty smelly sediment that needs to be back flushed to clear that sediment from the drain hole. To back flush you will need a hose with a female connector on each end, like the one on your washing machine. You can remove the washer hose or buy one for $26 at the big box stores, but I prefer this. I purchased a female to female 3 quarter inch coupler that screws onto my garden hose and in turn to the outside spigot. This was relatively cheap and I can use it annually if necessary rather than struggle with the washing machine hose. But why do I need a female to female coupler? Because to flush the tank the female end of your garden hose will need to be connected to the tank spigot. The male end of the hose won't work with the outside male spigot, so screw one end of the coupler onto your garden hose and screw the other end of the coupler to the outside spigot. Turn on the outside water which will then flow from the outside spigot through your hose into the tank. You will hear noises similar to these as the sediment gets blown away from the exit drain. Try and estimate a couple of gallons of water and then shut off the outside spigot, remove the coupler, then check to see if it drains. Although water is flowing now, I think we can do better. Let's flush it again. Check it out, much better. If I freeze the action, you can begin to see pieces of sediment coming out. In addition to back flushing, you can stir the sediment by giving the tank several brief shots of cold water while the drain is still open. I repeated this process on two different occasions during my flush. When finished, leave the water turned off for now. I want to show you exactly what was being flushed out of my tank by using this clear plastic container. Notice the thousands of white smelly particles as well as occasional black sediment. When my wife built this house, she said the well diggers hit an artesian well, which is great for water volume, but horrible for minerals and deposits which accumulate inside the tank. I'm thinking some of this is calcium. So much has gathered in the yard it looks like sleet. As I slow down the action you can see large pellets appearing. I ended up having to back flush five times to get clear, clean smelling water. If any of my viewing audience recognizes what this is, please leave a comment. Regardless, now you can see the reason most folks need to flush their tank annually. Once complete, turn off the tank spigot and check for leaks. Turn on the cold water supply to the ball valve and let the tank fill. By whatever means you shut off the power, turn on the power to the hot water heater. As we complete this project, don't forget to shut off the hot water faucet you opened earlier to clear the vacuum. You may experience a bit of spit and sputter as trapped air is cleared, but your water may now immediately smell better, your hot water heater should perform better, should last longer, and you may now have longer hot water run times due to less sediment taking up tank space.